Okay. Hey guys, Sean Frelick here. I uh, decided to try something a little different. I thought I would take the opportunity to do something a little more heart to heart, get to some of the stuff that we don't cover every week on the scripted show and talk more directly to you. First story I want to cover is the untangling of Disney from Netflix. And now this could be a big shift for the industry of video streaming as a whole. Disney's historic slew of movies will soon be off of Netflix by 2019. But there are rumors in regards to what they're going to do with the properties of Star Wars and Marvel, which have a very different audience. It seems like those two properties will be staying with Netflix for the time being, but eventually there could be separate channels for Disney, Netflix, Marvel, Star Wars. What are people going to do when there's just too many subscriptions you got to sign up for? Piracy, that's what it is. I'm not going to pay for Disney movies. No, I still have VHSs back at home. I can pop those into a player and I can enjoy it like my childhood. Stocks are dropping for both Netflix and Disney. So it seems like the market is getting a little squeamish about this decision. I personally don't really like it. I don't think that it's good that there's too many options for video streaming. I think there needs to be some unity because as a consumer, I just want to easily go to one place. And right now I go to like three or four different places for my video streaming and that's all right, and obviously I only pay for like one of them and then share them with other people. It seems like the music industry years ago had to comply with the internet age, and now it seems like movies and video are finally starting to reach that precipice as well. The other story I wanted to cover is if you watched last week tonight, Alex Jones was being ripped apart by John Oliver for selling a bunch of supplements off his websites. And a really interesting BuzzFeed story came out where uh, Charlie Warzel, he sent these supplements to a dietary lab in San Francisco to test them out. And the results came back and a lot of Alex Jones products aren't necessarily dangerous, but they're also very overpriced and really don't do a whole lot. Uh, technically, you could just go to a drugstore, your Walgreens, your CVSs, and get the same things uh, for a much smaller price. The thing is, Alex Jones took the story and spun it in a way that said that uh, the liberal media tried to take us down, but they were proven wrong. Well, not really. I mean, these products are still whack. They're not dangerous. They're not going to kill you. But, I mean, they're posed as these alpha human products that are going to make you super. And that's just not the case. It's just silly marketing, which is a lot of what Alex Jones does. Share your thoughts with Disney and Netflix, what you're going to do with your video streaming. Talk a little bit about uh, these Alex Jones products. Are you a user of them? Do they make your lifestyle better? We'd like to know. Stay tuned for the feed on Monday where you'll get to see our new apartment and our new set. And a lot of things are changing. We're trying a lot of new stuff here.